Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, scorched her Republican colleagues on Capitol Hill Wednesday, accusing them of sympathizing with white supremacists and alleging that House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf. is beholden to QAnon conspiracy theorists. During an appearance on MSNBC, the Democratic Squad member was asked about the nature of the GOP caucus that she works alongside with following the deadly riot in Jan. Six. She began by pointing out a profound difference between the GOP caucus in the current Congress and the one from the previous Congress. That difference was that it really felt that last term, the Republican caucus was one of extreme fealty to Donald Trump, Ocasio-Cortez told host Chris Hayes. There were some that were true believers, others that simply remained quiet out of cowardice and out of fear of the president's retribution. But this term, there are legitimate white supremacist sympathizers that sit at the heart and at the core of the Republican caucus in the House of Representatives. And if you see someone like the House Minority Leader, Kevin McCarthy, of the Republican Party respond to white supremacist vitriol coming from his own members, not with censure like they did with Representative Steve King of Iowa, not with, you know, being stripped of committees, not with any consequence, you have to wonder who actually has that power. And it increasingly seems, unfortunately, that in the House Republican Caucus, Kevin McCarthy answers to these QAnon members of Congress, not the other way around. And that is something, frankly, that needs to be said. Ocasio-Cortez then called out McCarthy's inaction on freshman Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, R. Gaw. Who has been under fire for spreading QAnon conspiracy theories, referring to the 2018 Parkland, Florida. mass shooting as a false flag and her vocal demands that Muslim members of Congress be sworn in on a Bible. A senior House GOP aide fired back, telling Fox News, at a time when America should be coming together, Rep. Ocasio-Cortez is trying to further divide this nation.